Airbus CEO Guillaume Faure has made a startling prediction that challenges long-held industry assumptions. Despite doubts about China's aircraft ambitions, he believes that the duopoly between Boeing and Airbus could soon become a tri-duo with Comac emerging as a formidable third player. At the heart of this shift is China's C919 jet, which is said to possess a unique secret weapon. This innovation could transform global aviation and herald a new era. So, what is this weapon? Why is it important? And how could it give manufacturers an advantage? Let's find out. Global airline operators are facing a growing crisis. Passenger demand is soaring to unprecedented levels, fueled by a post-pandemic recovery in travel economic growth in emerging markets and increased global connectivity. Yet aircraft availability remains severely limited. Boeing and Airbus, the world's two leading manufacturers, are struggling with massive production backlogs. Delivery schedules are stretched by years, sometimes even decades or more, leaving airlines scrambling to expand fleets quickly enough to meet rising demand. Each delay adds to the pressure on airlines forcing them to operate older aircraft, longer adjust flight schedules, or even turn away profitable routes. The pressing question is where can airlines find new solutions? One potential answer is emerging from Shanghai, the Comac C919. This sleek narrow body is designed to compete directly with the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. On paper, it ticks almost every box for airlines looking for a modern, efficient jet. It can carry between 158 and 174 passengers, has a range of around 55500 kilo and Comac claims lower operating costs thanks to its advanced aerodynamic design and extensive use of lightweight composite materials. The aircraft also prioritizes passenger comfort with wider seats, larger windows, and a quieter cabin. These features make it an attractive modern alternative for airlines struggling to meet fleet needs. What's more, the Chinese manufacturer has announced more than 1,000 orders for the C919, a figure that shows strong market interest. But a closer look reveals a key point. The vast majority of these orders are coming from Chinese leasing companies and state-owned airlines, not private or international carriers. Major global airlines, including Delta Southwest and Lufthansa, have yet to commit. Despite facing record backlogs and fleet shortages, they appear willing to wait for Boeing or Airbus to deliver or continue flying older models, rather than risk buying new aircraft from a manufacturer with a limited international track record. So, what explains this reticence certification and regulatory approvals are key. While the C919 has received Chinese airworthiness certification, it has yet to receive full accreditation from key international agencies like the FAA or EASA, a crucial step for global operations. Maintenance infrastructure pilot training and spare parts supply are other concerns for airlines that rely on predictable operational support across continents. Additionally, traditional relationships and trust in proven aircraft also play a role. Boeing and Airbus dominate with decades of service history, global support networks, and airline familiarity. This context highlights a deeper challenge for Comac. While the C919 may represent a technological leap forward and a competitive option on paper breaking into a global market dominated by Boeing, and Airbus requires more than just technical specifications. It's about building trust, demonstrating long-term reliability, and establishing a global support network that airlines rely on. The hesitation of international airlines underscores the high bar COMAC must clear to become a true third party in the world aviation market. But the question remains, can it overcome the regulatory hurdles, prove its reliability to skeptical airlines, and convince the world that it is a viable long-term alternative? Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our next exciting news right now. Thanks. Comarmac has unveiled what it proudly calls its trump card, the Leap 1C engine.
Built by CFM International, a joint venture between GE Aviation and Safran. It is China's ambitious entry into the single-aisle commercial aircraft market. Part of the renowned Leap engine family, which includes the Leap 1A for the Airbus A320neo and the Leap 1B for the Boeing 737, Max the Leap 1C has been uniquely customized to meet the specific performance requirements and operating environment of the C919. One of its most striking design features is the integration of the engine nacelle and thrust reverser into a single streamlined unit. This innovative arrangement not only improves aerodynamic performance, but also simplifies maintenance, reducing turnaround times and operating costs. Technically, the engine incorporates a range of advanced materials and engineering breakthroughs. The fan blades and fan casing are made from advanced composite materials that reduce weight by approximately 15% improving fuel efficiency and optimizing the thrust to weight ratio. The turbine uses ceramic matrix composite, an advanced material that can withstand much higher temperatures than traditional metal alloys. This allows the engine to run hotter and more efficiently without sacrificing durability, pushing the limits of fuel consumption reduction by approximately 15% compared to the proven CFM56 engine. The LEAP 1C also fully complies with the latest International Civil Aviation Organization noise and emission standards, ensuring the jet meets modern environmental standards. Operationally, the advantages of a turbofan engine do not stop at performance. The modular maintenance design enables faster and simpler maintenance of engine components, minimizing aircraft downtime and maximizing fleet availability for airlines. The engine is equipped with full authority digital engine control, which provides highly precise engine management by fully integrating with the aircraft's avionics, improving flight performance safety and real-time engine diagnostics. The nacelle system developed by Nexel, a joint venture between Safran and GE, enhances aerodynamic performance while contributing to overall reliability and ease of maintenance. Looking to the future, the Leap 1C is designed with flexibility and in upgrades including potential hybrid capabilities. This positions it as a platform technology that can evolve in parallel with China's domestic CJ-1000A engine, opening the way for COMAX aircraft line to embrace future engine improvements without requiring major airframe modifications. China's long-term vision of becoming a fully independent aerospace power is taking shape with COMAC's ambitious plan to replace Western-made engines with a domestically produced alternative, the CJ-1008. Developed by the Aero Engine Corporation of China AECC, the indigenous jet engine is designed to succeed the CFM Leap 1C, which currently powers the C919. It marks China's first serious step toward mastering the most technologically complex part of a modern passenger aircraft, the high-bypass turbofan. The project was officially launched in 2010, and the prototype was reportedly tested in 2018, with ground and flight testing continuing into the 2020s. In terms of specifications, it is a high-bypass twin-shaft turbofan engine expected to produce around 78 to 81 kilonewtons of thrust, similar in performance to the CFM Leap 1A 11B, 11C, and Pratt & Whitney PW1100G engines that power the A320neo and 737 MAX. In addition, the engine has a bypass ratio of around 9 to 1, a pressure ratio of around 40, 1, and an estimated fan diameter of around 1.95 meters, 76.8 inches. With a single-stage fan design, a three-stage low-pressure compressor, and a 10-stage high-pressure compressor, driving a two-stage high-pressure turbine and a six-stage low-pressure turbine. Furthermore, materials technology is key. AECC is developing single crystal turbine blades, ceramic matrix composites, or CMCs for short and advanced heat shielding coatings, to withstand temperatures in excess of 1,500 grade Stoidarks in the turbine section. These improvements aim to improve fuel efficiency by 10 to 15 percent, 
compared to previous generation Chinese engines, such as the WS10, and achieve specific fuel consumption, or SFC, or short, comparable to the LEAP family. Strategically, the CJ-1000A will provide China with significant self-sufficiency in civil aviation. Currently, the C919 relies heavily on Western components with about 60% of its systems sourced from U.S. and European suppliers, including Honeywell Avionics, Liebherr Landing Gear, and CFM International Engines. A successful domestic engine would allow China to be self-sufficient in production maintenance and export times reducing geopolitical risks and sanctions. Moreover, domestic production could reduce unit costs, simplify supply chains, and accelerate scalability in line with Beijing's Made in China 2025 initiative to localize advanced technology areas. So, what challenges will the Chinese engine face? First, it has yet to achieve performance comparable to the Leap 1C in key metrics such as thrust-to-weight ratio, fuel burn efficiency, and noise reduction. The LEAP series, backed by decades of Western research and development, achieves bypass ratios of up to 11 to 1 and is equipped with 3D printed fuel nozzles and carbon fiber composite fan blades, areas where AECC is still lagging. Furthermore, global certification is a major hurdle. While the CJ-1000A may be approved by China's CEEC, it will also have to pass rigorous testing and certification from international agencies such as the FAA and ESA before it can be used outside China. This process could take years as it requires thousands of hours of successful flight tests and proven reliability in commercial operations. Second, the timing of full deployment remains uncertain. The AECC aims to certify the indigenous engine for commercial use by 2030, potentially powering not only future variants of the C919, but also the CR929 wide-body aircraft being jointly developed by COMAC and UAC. If successful, the CJ-1000A would mark a significant milestone, symbolizing not only technological progress, but also China's determination to break the Western monopoly on jet engines. However, experts warn that true competitiveness will require sustained investment, global confidence, and years of real-world operation to demonstrate that China's domestic engines can match or one day surpass their Western rivals in reliability, performance, and efficiency. So could COMAC's domestic engine program disrupt the Boeing Airbus duopoly? Share your thoughts below. The development of the CJ-1000A marks a defining moment in China's quest for technological independence and global competitiveness in the aviation industry. More than just an engine, it represents a broader national ambition to break away from dependence on Western suppliers and establish a self-sustaining aerospace ecosystem capable of competing with the world's best. While the CJ-1000A has yet to reach the performance levels of its Western predecessors, its progress demonstrates China's rapid progress in aerodynamics, materials, science, and high-performance turbofan engine technology. The challenges ahead, achieving global certification, demonstrating long-term reliability, and building international trust are enormous but not insurmountable. With continued investment, iterative development, and strong government support, the CJ-1000A could become the foundation for China's next generation of engines, powering future aircraft like the CR929 and beyond. Ultimately, the program represents more than just a technical milestone. It reflects China's determination to reshape its role in global aviation, transforming itself from a manufacturing nation to an innovation leader. If successful, the CJ-1000A will not only power Chinese aircraft, but also cement China's aspirations to challenge the Western aviation order and secure a firm place among the world's leading aviation powers. The journey ends here. Have a nice flight. Goodbye and see you again.